who want to ban assault weapons. Meanwhile, they'll say, we don't want to take away your guns. You're like, well, you just handed me this piece of paper that has the official Moms to Man Action logo on it. It said you want to take away this certain type of gun. And now we have this article from Kit Daniels. FBI nearly five times more murders committed with knives than assault rifles. Then he breaks down the FBI numbers. And you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe Kit. You can go down to FBI.gov and see all these numbers for yourself. And he breaks down the facts and figures. I'm going to jump to the end here, or at least the end of my printout. Overall, the number of murders involving guns has plunged from 8,855 in 2012 to 8,454 in 2013 and to now 8,124 in 2014. So you can see right there, you know, a lot of people think that gun murders have gone up, and I can understand why, because they're very uh, sensationalized in the media, because when you have somebody who, you know, gets bludgeoned with a hammer or somebody who gets stabbed, you know, it's really more of a, a local news story. But if you have a story about a guy using a fully automatic rifle, which is, you know, very rare to see those type of murders here in the United States in the first place, but when those do happen, they get a ton of media coverage. So I can understand why people think, you know, there's some guy on every corner shooting off an AK-47. But also, again, these guys are looking for soft targets. Very rarely, they do happen, but very rarely will you see somebody go and pick a fight at a police station. Like it's happened here in the city of Austin, Texas. You know, the guy, I believe it was last year, last uh, November, around Thanksgiving time, he goes up to the Austin police station, you know, shoots out the windows, the cop comes and responds and of course that didn't last too much longer after that but by and large these guys look for what you would call a soft target a school or a church or someplace they anticipate people not being able to protect themselves case in point what we saw up in oregon and what we've seen in uh, columbine virginia tech and many other institutions so now people are asking the question whether or not students should be able to carry a concealed handgun on the campus and I say I have really no issue with that because the majority of the people who came out to our demonstration who were against campus carry were kids who were too young to handle a firearm in the first place, at least in terms of a concealed handgun. So we'll have more on that when we come after this break. Stay tuned. This is the InfoWars Nightly News. You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show because there's a war on for your mind. Oh, I, will, ooh, I wish we'd go back to the days, I'm telling you, of just getting my satisfaction out in the street. You pick a sword or something else. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. We began our news with the very sad story of the shooting up in Oregon. And while these things do happen, I think that is a case in favor of something called campus carry. That's where if you're a student, you're 21 years of age, and you may have to undergo some type of training or a permit situation in your state, but basically you'll be able to carry a firearm on your person on the campus. Now, many people are against this, uh, very passionately so, but it's gone from the point of just banning firearms on campuses to now where when Joe Biggs, Kit Daniels, and the rest of the InfoWars crew went out to the University of Texas today, they were even banning people's free speech. So not only could you not have a firearm, but you couldn't even hold a sign that said, hey, I'm pro-gun or respect my Second Amendment rights or you know whatever the case may be, if you did not have a permit, which is to say that a public university requires you to have a permit to demonstrate in the United States of America. Not only can you not have a Second Amendment, but you also cannot have a First Amendment. And the reason why I'm a supporter of things like Campus Carry is because you have rapists, you have uh, school shooters, and this isn't any knock on the police, but police cannot be there at all times to protect you. And people will make the argument, well, if something happens, I call the police. Well, that's right, you call a fire department you call the fire department if your house is on fire. You call the ambulance if you're about to bleed out. You call the police officer if somebody breaks into your house at 3 in the morning because they have what? A gun. You call the fire department because they have a water hose. You call the ambulance because they have the proper equipment to keep you from bleeding out. So, yes, there is a need for uh, a firearm in this day and age. And like we've seen multiple times before, despite the police's best efforts, uh, they don't always know exactly what to do. Case in point, the Empire State shooting. Uh, a gentleman, well, I shouldn't call him a gentleman, but a man decided to go about a uh, spree of a sword. The police officers pull out their guns. They shoot at the guy. They hit nine people that are not their intended target. It's somewhat like that scene from Pulp Fiction. Now, once again, there are some police officers who are very well trained who can react uh, very confidently under a high-pressure situation, but those guys were not it. That's why I am an advocate for campus carry. So with that in mind, the crew went out today and tried to have a dialogue with the anti-gun group. And I believe Big said one person was willing to talk to him. Most of them just had ad hominem attacks, called them gun nuts and all this stuff. Didn't want to talk about any factual information out of a source such as the FBI. 
I'm not saying I agree with everything the FBI does, but I think their gun numbers and violence numbers are pretty accurate. So this is pretty much the fruit of their labors. They went out there, they tried to speak to people, nobody wanted to talk to them. So they just took it upon themselves to talk about real facts and information that you're not going to hear on other news sources. They just want you to be shaking in fear and waiting for somebody to come and save you. Here's an exchange earlier today. Joe Biggs here with Infowars.com. Now the gun-free UT rally just ended, as you can see, starting to, the crowd's about to dissipate, everyone's starting to move out. Today has been pretty interesting. Um, you've got a lot of speakers, moms and men in action, standing up on the stage over here to my right, who are sitting here calling for free speech, the ability to open a dialogue. Meanwhile, there were two people who were protesting that said uh, they were pro-Second Amendment who were taken away and arrested just for holding signs. Just tell me. Yeah, student ID. Hey, good afternoon. And and you are not, not an authority. I, I am an authority. She's the dean of students. She's the dean of students. Are you removing me for what reason? This is reserved space. You're reserved tomorrow. You are free to be anywhere in this West Mall except up here. I'll come down. 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 But she's open to hear people's opinions, but she doesn't want to debate anything. You know, I had the ability to try and talk to all these gun-free UT students, faculty, whoever was out here with a t-shirt on, random homeless people they found to put a t-shirt on, they paid off. No one would even have a debate because no one has any facts to support why they are here. Are you guys on open discussion? UT gun-free campus? I'm not speaking to you. Oh, you're uh, not up for debate? Just rather arrest people who... Uh, have the freedom of speech, huh? I don't. No, my mother would be super proud. She is proud. That's why I joined the military, Roger, to protect your ability to be able to come out and do this crap. Am I talking real quick? No. Somewhere between yep. the it rate has fluctuated yep. from 6.6 percent .6 to 14. God, anti everybody, are afraid to do anything. So people want to take your freedoms away, and they won't even debate or talk. <laughs> People have mental health issues where we're all super stressed. I don't think that it's necessary to have guns in those classrooms in such like an Well, how uncomfortable would you feel if a, a shooter comes to your classroom and you're sitting there like, oh my God, I had this wooden desk? Well, I would hope that there are, you know, security, campus security. I don't know if you've guns, ever seen any of these shootings that go on, but usually it takes a few minutes and by then there's a body count. Okay. I, you don't want anyone in there to have the ability to be able to maybe take that guy out? I mean, if that was... I would rather security handle it, if that's the case. Campus but, security? Yes. They're not or, highly trained. Or cops. I'd rather be, we go into a lockdown situation. Why we cops handle only? Because you, you, you think cops are highly trained? You know, I, I don't know the statistics, statistics on it, but no, I know I'm just saying your personal opinion. Do you think cops are highly trained to be able to handle that? I think cops are trained. Like what about the cop who killed Sam DeBose for not having a license plate? I don't know what about, about the cops, that to speak. What about the cops who killed Kelly Thompson? Educated on it, Thompson? so... Well, no, I'm interviewing her. How you say over there? This isn't really like interviewing me. You're more just like badgering yeah. me, and yeah, I'd well, appreciate it if you got out of my face. Oh, now she says something. Now oh, I actually no. I'd rather you just get out of my face. Oh, I'll be good. Thank, Thank you. you. It's my freedom to be here. All right, it's my freedom cool. to say go right away from on. Me. I'm yeah. gonna stay here. All right, nice to see you. Guns. All right, well, I'll let you say why you're here, and I won't say anything. Okay. All right. So tell me why you're here today. Uh, I'm heavily against campus carry. Uh, I feel uncomfortable with the idea of students having guns. I don't think arming more people prevents violence. Um, the rape statistic really hit close to home for me. Um, I just don't think it's moving in the right direction. So do you think only police officers should be armed? I don't, uh, sorry, I don't like speaking um, like in this kind of sense much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Meanwhile, the people who are for campus carry have a wealth of knowledge and know why they're here and have facts to back it up. 
look, with a concealed handgun license, you can carry everywhere else in the state of Texas. I can carry it in malls. I can carry the grocery store, movie theaters. I can carry in the bank. Um, there's no reason why I should not be able to carry inside of a building of a college campus. So all of a sudden, a person.